Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, just a short video about this, about Drew McIntyre. It's been probably, if you were watching my channel, you would know that I did not like Drew McIntyre. Um, especially because, like, really, why well, I didn't like McIntyre um, on the main roster, or let's say, like, the idea of him becoming a main eventer is really because, let's be honest here, Drew McIntyre... Even before returning to WWE, like, let's let's be honest here. The guy was, of course, you know, he was listed as the chosen one. And then, let's be honest, he became the jobber. He was part of the MB. Alright? I did not mind him when he went to TNA. I thought, you know, cool, you know. But it's just like, you know, he was really a caring to the indie guys. You know what I mean? And I was, like, not really a big, like, big fan of McIntyre like that. Is he, you know, is, is he terrible? No. But let's be honest here, his direction many times has been terrible. Then he returned to NXT, he won the NXT title, it's whatever, I didn't really care much. But you know, you have to admit, yeah, he looked bigger than before and shit like that. It was good that you know he was rebuilding himself and all that stuff, right? Then he lost to Andrade, which fucked him up, and then he joined and then he joined fucking WWE, the main roster again. But he was but Dolph Ziggler's lackey. Like, really? He was Dolph Ziggler's fucking dude that takes care of him and shit like that? Like, I'm sorry. If you... If anything involving Dolph Ziggler is terrible. Okay? It doesn't help him much. Uh, sure, you know, he defeated Kurt Angle and all that stuff. He was, like, bit built up. Like, you know, he was gonna be, like, a good mid card and shit like that. Sure. But, you know, it doesn't change the fact that, unfortunately, let's be honest here. Like, and he was, like, feuding with Reigns and shit like that. The reality is, unfortunately... When you have a guy like McIntyre who lost to fucking jobbers, like literally, when he returned, despite like, you know, he ch he has a new look, new attitude, shit like that, right? The f problem is, they fucked him up sometimes. When he even returned to main roster, they fucked him up by having him lose to jobbers, like Ricochet, who fingers his own ass. Fucking Dolph Ziggler he lost to, I believe. He lost, I think, Finn Balor and shit like that. All these guys, he lost to him and didn't help him. It ruined him. Which is not good. Especially when you're trying to build up McIntyre. You know what I mean? To be a future world champion. It didn't help him much. You know what I mean? Which which made me not want to care about McIntyre. Sure, him benefit. You know, when he was with Shane and shit like that, it did help him a little bit. And just him, him and, and Undertaker. Like, I remember that tag team match. Him teaming up with, him teaming with Shane versus Undertaker and Roman Reigns. That was a good match. It gave me some hope. You know what? McIntyre could be something. But then when you have him lose to Ricochet after that. And Cedric Alexander. All these jobbers. It didn't make any sense. And then he won the Rumble out of nowhere. When he lost to jobbers. And wasn't even like built up to be in the main event. It didn't help him. Okay? Let's be honest here. I wouldn't have mind McIntyre winning the Rumble if he was booked right. If he was literally booked to be the main eventer, like, yeah, that could be a future world champion. But why I didn't believe that the, him winning the world Rumble was good is because he was, like, losing the jobbers. And, like, it didn't help, like, yeah, before when he was the 3MB shit like that. Let's just say, like, okay, he returned. He's a new big dude. You know, he's a different guy. Okay. But you have to admit that when he came back, even, he lost the jobbers. And he, he fell off to be, like, a future main eventer, which ruined him. Let's be honest here. But then, you know, like, yeah, but, you know, obviously, like, the idea, like, what, him being, like, McIntyre, like, not, not just, um, Shaman Man's buddy and shit like that, him, with that match with Taker and Roman Reigns, which was really good, by the way, that was a good tag team match, that did help McIntyre, and it made, like, wow, maybe Undertaker and McIntyre may have a match in the future, which didn't happen, but it's fine, that match helped him, but it didn't help when, even after that, he lost to Jobbers. And then he won the Rumble, which, again, I thought, like, really? McIntyre out of nowhere win the Rumble? Like, wouldn't it make sense, like, when a guy returning, he wins matches, maybe win a mid-card title. Maybe he could have had, you know, either a U.S. or, or Intercontinental title reign, you know, both, and then be built up. And after that, he, you know, he's still, like, sort of mid-card main event, and then he could win the Rumble. And I wouldn't, been, I wouldn't mind that, but the fact is... He was losing the jobbers, he didn't done fuck all, he didn't really have like a few going on, and then all of a sudden he wins the rumble. You know, it didn't make any much sense.
But then he, you know, then that's like, you can't just push a guy out of nowhere to be the main eventer. That doesn't help wrestling, and let's be honest here. It, that's why people didn't take this guy seriously as the main eventer. That's why people didn't really watch him as world champion and shit like that. Is it his fault? No. It definitely is WWE's fault, but, you know. It does suck, like, you know, immediately after winning the Rumble, he's, like, built as the big guy. You know, the guy who's going to be the future, which... That shouldn't that should be the case when he's before winning the rumble. Like, yeah, that's the guy who's gonna be the head of this company. You know what I mean? You can't just rely on the rumble and all of a sudden become a world. You know, this big star. That doesn't make any sense. It has to be like a sort of a. It's not just an achievement. It's supposed to be like a sort of prop to help you become this big guy. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. The idea of him versus Lesnar is fine. I didn't think that he should have fucking. Kicked out of the F5, like, after one, when guys like Undertaker can't even kick out of one and shit like that. And also, like, him, you know, like, I don't know, just, I don't know, it just didn't make any sense, obviously, him versus Lesnar. Like, if you made him be legit, but that that's why I didn't give a fuck, like, why would he be Lesnar? Especially in five minutes, though. I thought, like, him beating Lesnar in, like, five minutes didn't make any sense. But, like, whatever. I guess, you know, him... Just, I guess that was the better match to do that time, right? Okay. But just five minutes, I didn't think that made sense. You know, him being Lesnar, like, five minutes. Like, what? And, of course, like, I wanted him versus Lesnar again. But Lesnar's, like, retired. So, it is what it is. But, you know, you have to admit, though, even though it's bad booking, it's retarded that you just push him, like, to be a legit guy after winning the Rumble. I don't know it's retarded. But you have to admit... I will admit this, as a guy who didn't like the idea of McIntyre winning the Rumble and did not really give a fuck about McIntyre, I will say this, McIntyre has improved. Would it have been better if he was basically like being built as a better main eventer and maybe like not doing jobber shit and not job to wrestlers, not lose the jobbers and also maybe like being built better to be the winner of the Royal Rumble and legit being the guy to beat Lesnar? Sure. But I will say this, he has improved. He has established a sort of character where he's like a guy who has to be just respectful. respectful. He cares about the legend shit like that, but not just that. Like, he's this, uh, you know, Scottish gladiator guy. You know, he's this guy that he's a badass Scottish dude. I will say this, when I started to not mind McIntyre and actually start giving him a chance, is really when he fucking... He changed his entrance. I'm telling you, an entrance helps make a wrestler. Okay? An entrance helps make a wrestler. An entrance is what makes, you know, you care about a wrestler. If a guy has a shitty entrance, doesn't it's supposed to fit the character. It helped me McIntyre better. I will tell you this. When I started to actually like McIntyre, it's when he changed his entrance. Remember that Raw Before Summer Survivor Series where he got the sword? I thought that was badass. You know what I mean? Even though that's a gift from Sheamus and shit like that, right? That helped McIntyre. I thought, fuck yeah. That's a badass entrance. Even though he's wearing a, a kilt, you know, a fucking skirt. But that's like Irish shit. That's kind of badass. You know what I mean? So, an entrance helps make the wrestler. And that's why I started to give a shit about McIntyre. You know what I mean? So, not just like fucking his character, like, has improved and his entrance. You know what I mean? I will say this. I, I wrote some notes. His entrance helped beat him. Like or not, there's some likability with McIntyre. There is some likability. He has improved so much on the mic, you know, not just saying he's a chosen one and shit like that. He's improved so much on the mic where he talks and shit like that. He sounds like cool, you know what I mean? And he, like or not, he had some good matches. He had good matches like with Goldberg. That match with Goldberg was pretty good. And I was even saying that that match might be good, you know what I mean? Even Orton, like, that, that fucking match with fucking Orton in that ambulance match was not bad. I thought, like, though, like, why would, you know, but it was good, I would say. He, his match with Keith Lee, that Raw, that Raw Legends night was actually not bad, too. And, and him versus Lashley at that Backlash match, which I didn't give a flying fuck at that time. But looking back at it, it was actually pretty good. Because I remember I was looking forward to just Edge versus Orton. I will say that, that match, that show is not the worst show. But definitely, those matches were good. You know what I mean? So it was good. Like, I, I looking back at Because I remember, like, but the story wasn't that good. You know what I mean? Like, sure, McIntyre had some boring moments and some stupid moments. 
and he was boring in the past, and he still has some boring kind of shit. But I will say this, he's decent now, you know what I mean? And I know, like, I did thought it was retarded, like, him winning the Roma out of nowhere, and pushed without properly being pushed, and, you know, but he has improved. He's not the best, but he's better than he was before, and he's a hell of a lot better than a lot of guys now. It sucks that it took him, like, being pushed to win the WWE title, and all of a sudden he's being pushed right. It doesn't make any sense that now he's a star, but I just wish he was booked better than before and not out of nowhere. It just would have been made sense, like, you don't just push a wrestler to be credible when he's a world champion. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't make sense. It should make sense when you bring him up to the main roster and just, you know, or whatever. If he's going to win the WWE title, you should have him being booked as the main guy, you know, a guy who's gonna be, you know, he's beating wrestlers and shit like that. Not just losing the jobbers. Just saying. Especially, like, months before winning the Rumble. Just saying. But I will say this. In the end of the day, I not I don't mind McIntyre anymore. I think he is a decent guy currently. I think he has improved. And why, I would say, McIntyre, he is a decent star currently. He is actually someone people give a fuck about him. You know what I mean? And plus... It seemed like outside of the wrestling business, he's a cool guy. I saw his workout videos and shit like that, where you saw he's like UK, some UK channel where he's like, you know, talk about like working out. She's like, he's a big dude and shit like that. He has a look, not just the look, but he's also like, you know, he has a character now. It would just make sense if he actually established that before winning the Rumble and becoming the champion. But it is what it is. Overall, I will say this: Drew McIntyre, it's not too terrible. I will say, I I do like McIntyre now. He's not the best. Do I think Reigns is still better? Yeah, I think Edge is better than him too. But he is a th he is one of the few stars now that actually is not terrible. So you have to admit that. He is a guy that you care about. You know, and him versus Lashley, you got to give a fuck. So I will say this, Drew McIntyre kind of rules. Or not, not like better than, I would like him better than Lashley. And I do think, uh, honestly, yeah, Lashley... Not Lashley, uh, McIntyre should be him, because that's because, you know, he has improved, and it helps him, you know, you have to give a fuck now that, you know, you don't care that whoever wins, you know? It doesn't matter, like, if whoever wins, really. It's just, like, as long as they're good and benefits, whatever, but in the story-wise, it does make sense for McIntyre to win, though, but... And plus, like, you know, it did make sense for him to beat Goldberg, too, so... It is what it is, so I don't mind McIntyre. I think McIntyre is definitely better than he was before and definitely one of the better guys currently. So that's just my thoughts. Just to clear out if people are wondering why I don't why I don't hate McIntyre anymore and shit like that. So there you go. That's what I'm gonna say people and I hope that what people understand that too. So I know a lot of people are turning his back on him because it's a typical sparky thing to do to turn your back on a guy, but it's like, you know, he has improved, and it just sucks that, you know, definitely the guys like Dave Meltzer and the Smarts could have turned their gu back on a guy who they wanted to be the face or whatever fuck, but then, you know, it's a typical Smart thing you do to turn because it's helping the company. Because it is helping the company, a guy like McIntyre, you know, he is one of the best dudes out, you know, currently in the business, so. Especially in current modern day wrestling. Alright, let's see people, just get your game.